how many words can you come up with for the two words not exciting? Go ahead, write them down. I'll test you later. This is one of those games. This is a not exciting game. We have a not exciting matchup between two veteran pitchers and two teams that are battling for last place in the AL West. Seattle Mariners versus the Oakland Athletics in Oakland. And I'm backing the under the total of the day. I thought that line was a little bit surprising. I dug into some numbers and it looks like the odds makers kind of on top of this one. All right, let's get right to it. Seven and a half, juice across the board, about minus 110 to minus 115. And that's about right. And we'll talk about the pitchers here in just a second. I really thought this game when it first came out might be a little bit higher, but as we break down the numbers, we see it's set just about right. Still, I like the under in this uh, matchup here. For the Mariners, you got J.A. Happ comes in with a 3.89 ERA and a 1.33 whip. He's already faced Oakland twice this season. Uh, he's pitched 11 innings against them, and he's got an ERA about 2.3 um, against him. But he's a veteran pitcher. He doesn't strike out a lot of guys. He's just consistent. You know, he doesn't allow a lot of runs in bunches. He's pitched pretty well against Oakland. He should be sufficient enough to keep them down in the run column. For the Oakland A's, you got Jesse Chavez comes in with an ERA 3.02 and a 1.16 whip. Having a pretty strong year. Uh, he's also pitched the Mariners uh, against the Mariners already once this year. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, he's like Hap. You know, he keeps the run totals down. They don't score a ton in bunches. Not a big strikeout pitcher either, but he should be able to keep the Mariners in check. They are one of the worst, they're arguably the worst offense in the American League. Okay, Chavez, let's talk a little bit more about him. I like him in this spot. I really think he, think he keeps the Mariners down. Um, in his last 10 games, only on three occasions has he allowed four runs or more. One time against the Seattle team, one time against Boston, he allowed four, and that was four runs he let, uh, allowed against Seattle, and he allowed five two games ago against the Texas Rangers. Besides that, he's been pretty solid this year. At home, he's got an ERA about uh, about 2.2, so very good home pitcher. Should keep the Mariners down. I'm looking like a 4-1 to one type of ball game right here. Offenses, not a lot to talk about here. Oakland is better in pretty much every offensive category. Um, they are 7th uh, ranked and run scored per game. you got the Mariners ranked 29th. Uh, as far as batting average, you got uh, Oakland also ranked uh, in that latter top 10 area. Seattle ranks last in the league uh, with Oakland hitting 259 and the Mariners hitting 231. So not a ton of offense going on with either of these teams, especially the Mariners. So look for the A's to go ahead and handle some business at home here and win this game uh, with a low scoring affair. Like I said, about four to one, something like that is my prediction. Not a really exciting matchup, but I think there's a good value on the under here. So you can back that with confidence. It's my total play in Major League Baseball and I wish you luck on your plays of the day.